what we thought of atypical. Because this is exactly what parenting is all about. Reality. I thought it portrayed the parenting, honestly. That's very unrealistic. exactly what parenting is like. <laughs> we are wrapping gifts for Olivia's birthday at the very last minute. Late at night. Well, I mean, it's not too late. No, it's not horribly late. Alexa, what time is it? Oh, it's already after 10. It's 10, 11 p.m. We did finish up the series Atypical yep. on Netflix. We did get to watch that instead of wrapping the presents because we had to wait till after Olivia went to bed to wrap the presents. So it's not like we were just like, I'm just gonna watch TV instead of doing the job. Like, no, we had to wait. Yeah. And now we're discussing what we thought of Atypical. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh. Good. Because this is exactly what parenting is all about. Reality, right guys? You know. Don't act like you guys have never been in this position wrapping presents the night before. <laughs> I know you have. Alan, what'd you think? It got off to a rocky start. Oh no. wow, we're recording full on crying. Literally you tears. Can... Do you feel that? <laughs> oh, As you guys so know, the full on crying. That's heartbreaking. I just sat on the kitchen floor and cried hysterically. There wasn't a lot more crying after no, that. No, there wasn't. I, was, I thought the ending was good. Like, I, I, was, I was all right with the ending. They might have a vague idea that the road ahead could be rough. That's what makes New Beginnings so exciting. You don't know what will happen until it's over. I, I was satisfied with the ending. It didn't leave me like... You're like, really, that's, that's the best thing to do? Like, I, I thought it was good. Here was our conversation during the last season. That's very unrealistic. Yeah, there was a lot of that, wasn't there? It was the, let's wrap it up with these happy endings. We'll throw in a little bit of sad reality, but it's all going to have happy endings. And I get it. It's a TV show. You want that? Unfortunately, real life does not work that way. Overall, how did you think it portrayed autism parenting? I thought it portrayed the parenting, honestly, I'd say relatively well. I think so too. It's my family is fragile. Everything is saying this and autism that. Maybe it's time for you to have your own life. I don't like how they portrayed the mom, obviously. Yeah, the oh. mom they portrayed a little on the bad, like, not On great. the bad side. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sorry, I had an issue with the entire family just treating her like crap, they even treat, from the very beginning. Yeah, they did treat the mom. Everyone treated the mom horribly. Casey, why does my to-do list say remove stick from the box? I don't know. But if it's on there, you gotta do it, right? I mean, I get it. A lot of moms are treated that way, but I just did not find that acceptable at all. I think the answer is butt out. I don't know. Maybe other autism moms do have issues with letting their kids do things on their own because they want to protect them and i mean not just autism mom but other moms in general but i i'm not like that at all no there are strategies i could teach him i'm not a little kid anymore i can do things strategies or when you get your heart broken i believe you could do it you could do it go do it type of people i felt connection to the mom's emotions and worry and sense of it's hard to focus on a relationship and a marriage when you have a child with special needs. I could totally relate to all those. Yeah. But beyond that, I didn't relate to her a whole lot. How about me with the dad? I can't find my work pants. I honestly thought the dad was kind of relatable. For you? Yeah. 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 I thought so too. Sam's gonna start dating. You and I were much older when we met. Maybe it's time for us to take a step back. The difficulty connecting with the son <laughs> was like the big one. I called you out on that in like yeah. what, the first couple episodes. Yeah. Connecting with... Connecting with, with somebody the... on the yeah. spectrum is a hard thing to do. Yeah. So. I don't know about 
some of the stuff you're into. We also need to include the fact that we didn't feel like the autistic community was fairly portrayed. We felt like it was more of a, yes, he used to have struggles and there's a few things, but it's mostly just like it's, more Rain Man issues and- Yeah, a lot of just like quirks and, and just- quirkiness and not so much of, they portrayed specific things, but I don't feel like they really captured a fair, a fair no, I don't want to say like, what is it? I mean, to be fair, like a lot of times, like when I was watching it, I compared him to Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory. Like, he had that, like, Sheldon... Yeah, the autism spectrum is such a wide spectrum that there's no way to incorporate it all in one person. It's just impossible. I get that. But I feel like it could have been better portrayed. Yeah. So I, I guess that is an important factor that I wanted to include, was it wasn't completely... I felt like they could have done a better job portraying. I, I think what it should have been, honestly, what it should have been, instead of going off on the the things about like the sister's life, the other kids from the support groups and what their lives were like and, and a way to incorporate different types of autistic people. That would have been good. Yeah. It says I'm in danger of academic probation. Hey, hey, it's not a big deal. It isn't? Not at all. It's a huge deal. I had an uncle who was on academic probation once. He's in jail now. You didn't learn anything about them. You didn't learn about their struggles or anything about them as individuals. They were just there to support the main character. So I think if they had added in, you know, side stories about their lives, I would have been happier to more broadly represent the autism community. That's just our opinion though. So this wasn't really a vlog we were intending on doing, but we just, thought we'd seize the opportunity because we want to portray what real life is really about. I love posting happy stuff and inspirational stuff and positive stuff on Instagram because I like being that person. But at the same time, we all have our moments that we've run into another room crying on the kitchen floor. It is what it is. If you like the rawness and realness of this video, give us a like and a thumbs up. And I wanna hear what you guys thought of Atypical if you've watched it. Yeah. Like, we really wanna hear how other people, especially other autism parents, feel about this. If you like this and you wanna see more of it, let us know that too. We can try it. Yeah. We're willing to try almost anything once, including skydiving. Yep. That was a cool video. If you guys haven't seen that one, check that one out. That's pretty awesome. It is late and we need to finish wrapping presents and get to bed because we have to get up super early tomorrow. We will see you guys next week. We put out new videos every single Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Isaac Newton, Nikola Tesla, Mozart, all the great swore off sex to maximize artistic output. That's why I swore off sex too. You swore off sex because the girl you like got a boyfriend on the wrestling team. There are a lot of considerations. Click on this video. Will you please click on this video? Come on, push it. Can you please subscribe? Can you please push that subscribe button? Or for the other video, you can press this button. Go on, click this button, or this button, or this button. Well, mostly this button. I would like it if you did.